I am Batman. Do you want to know how to make this type of animation? I'll show you how. <laughs> First of all, what you're gonna do is that you're gonna download the application called Autodesk Sketchbook. And go here and then just simply tap download and it will download. I have it already downloaded and once you will open it, you will see these things. So uh, for you, yeah, these things. So for you it might look quite different, but uh, generally it will be like this. So to create animation, you can only draw here, but if you want to create an animation, you have to go here, tap file, and tap new flipbook, and then tap new empty flipbook. So then here will be some options, and so uh, like the pixel dimensions and playback. So make sure that this is not 24 frames per second, but 12, because you will have to draw a lot. And by default, the uh, number of frames is 240. Let it be, like, it doesn't matter, okay? Then you can, of course, undo the frames. But let it be as it is and tap OK. And this is what your screen must look like, more or less. If you want to have a background that will last all on all of the frames, you can tap this thing over here and tap background. And what you will draw now will be only a background that will last all the frames, all the next frames. So let's draw a little background, like let's draw a sun. Uh, we don't need black sun, of course. So, how do you change color? You tap here, and then you change it like this. So, like uh, this, go to yellow, and then go like this. So, this will be the yellow color, and you can choose so, the instrument that you want to draw with, but in this case, let it be this one. And let's draw a sun on the side. So let me sun over here, okay, and some sun rays, okay, doesn't matter, but still. And what if you want to, like, fill the color, like, you don't want to, like, do like this, because it will take a lot of time, and you want this shape to be yellow totally. So what you're gonna do here is that you're gonna tap uh, this thing, this fluid fill, flat fill and then you're gonna tap solid fill linear fill or radial fill so let it be solid fill and just simply go to the object that you want to fill with this color and press it and here it is your sun is now yellow of course you can also fill the background but not this stuff okay and once you are done with filling if you will start try drawing it will fill another part of this so to get out of this filling and resume drawing you have to again tap this flat fill so tap this and now you are able to draw some things okay let's now have a ground over here so let it be ground green green ground and let do let us do like this or maybe a bit better like this and again as i've already taught you good. good and yeah probably this is all what we need and now let's see what we got so every frame if you're gonna tap play on all the frames this will be there on all of them it is background so yeah now you can start drawing on the next frame so this is the next frame and make sure that you are drawing on the foreground okay and then you're gonna tap this thing so that add a keyframe and then you're gonna start drawing but i don't think that you want to draw with green so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go here and tap this and go to black 
Okay, now let's finally start drawing. And I'm gonna choose the blue color because I want to draw a Batman, okay? So yeah, let me choose this one, okay? And let's start drawing as if Batman is falling from somewhere. So I'm gonna time-lapse it. And yeah, I'm gonna just simply draw and then time lapse it. But first of all, uh, how do I feel? I will feel it as well with the flat fill, okay? And yeah, you know, like, okay, I will time lapse it. And I also forgot to mention that uh, on this side, like, that you see the previous keyframes, tap this key, and you will see the previous frame. But by default, you will see, and to, uh, to see the next frame, you will tap this. But by default, it is previous two frames. And make sure that it is on one. Like, I personally, I prefer that it is on one, because I see only the only one previous frame, okay? Let's time lapse it again. By the way, I made here a mistake. So how do you zoom? You're gonna tap this thing over here, and then you're gonna tap this and uh, pull your mouse upper if you want to zoom in, and pull your mouse downer if you want to zoom out. So yeah, that's how you zoom in. And how do you erase some things? So you're gonna tap this thing that shows you the brushes and instruments and you're gonna tap this eraser and then you're gonna just simply be able to erase what you have done. Now here's a question, what if you need the next frame to be much like the previous frame? You're gonna tap this thing and what it will give you is that you will have two same frames. And uh, if you're gonna tap this and then you're gonna tap this, you will be able to move uh, this object. And yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. You can even zoom it. Like, make it bigger, make it smaller, and yeah, that sort of stuff. And now I'm in the situation where I need to make a new frame without the sun and this uh, ground. And since it is the background, I can do nothing with this. Except, I can choose a tool brush over here and choose the white color so that i can not erase it but i can replace it with the white marker okay now i'm finally done with the first batman frame and to, uh, on the next frame, I still see this background. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna click this thing so that, and then this thing, so that everything is absolutely the same. And uh, to, to make changes to the mouth, I will simply erase the previous mouth uh, with the color of the skin of the Batman. And then with the black color, I will replace it with the new mouth as I want it to be. Okay, so that I will just simply choose the black one and simply draw it like this, I guess. And uh, then I'm gonna uh, tap uh, the, uh, take the white one, like the white color from eye and I'm gonna fill the mouth with this color, okay? So that it looks like as if Batman is really uh, talking and I want Batman's mouth to be for a little while closed so I moved the frame where mouth is opened a little away 
And after this, I was doing the same process over and over again. I was covering with the color of the skin the previous mouth, then I was drawing the next mouth, filling it with white, and then I was moving the frames a little away when I wanted the mouth to be in the one position for more time. And this is the final result. But as you can understand, this doesn't have any sound. It is only motion of a character. So now I will show you how to add some sounds to your animation. For this, I moved the I screen recorded this and then I moved it into the iMovie. This is the editing software for those who don't I me. Am and man. I just simply recorded the voiceover so that it oh sounded like this. Big man. After this, I did so that uh, the my voice matched the animation. I am big man. But it, of course, it was far from ideal because my voice is, of course, not like Batman's voice, as you could understand, of course. And what I did to change my voice is that I clicked on the voice box, uh, I guess, and uh, then I chose the audio effect that best sounded like the Batman's voice. And here's the final product. Thank you guys for watching and if you like this video of course click like because that means a lot and of course so that you don't miss any future videos like this subscribe down below and see you guys later bye